this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Scott. I'm a practicing physician assistant working in endocrinology, also a type 1 diabetic. If you're interested in diabetes-related news, tech talk, product reviews, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'll be coming out with new content all of the time. So what we're going to be talking about today is comparing the Dexcom G6 to the Freestyle Libre 2, seeing which one is going to be more accurate. So I had both a Dexcom G6 and I had a Freestyle Libre 2, and I wanted to put them both on, same spot on the body, and for over 10 days compare the accuracy of both of these CGMs compared to a finger stick, which we know is still our most accurate way to check our blood glucose. Um, so what I did was I put both of the sensors on the same arm, same spot, just maybe a few millimeters um, apart, and I compared them for 10 days doing finger sticks comparing the blood sugar readings. Now my assumptions were that going to be that the Dexcom may have come in a little bit better because the Dexcom, uh, the Dexcom G6 has an MARD score of 9.0 compared to the Freestyle Libre 2 that has an MARD score of 9.3. MARD score, if you're not familiar with that, that basically just compares the accuracy to a finger stick and gives you a good idea of how accurate it's going to be. But I wanted to see real life head to head what we're actually going to find in these products. So here we go. All right, so this was day one. This is when I just put the sensor on. I was two hours in the Dexcom, just started reading. First reading on both, day one, the sensors were brand new. We all know that the first 24 hours, the readings are not very accurate. That's something that they talk about on their websites. It's a known thing with these sensors. The first day, a little shaky. So what I see here, the Dexcom came in. It was 26 points from a finger stick. We can see up top there, the finger stick was 79. The Dexcom gave me a 105. The Libre gave me a 111. Honestly, First day, I don't put a lot of weight into this, um, but there was a little bit of uh, better accuracy with the Dexcom. The Dexcom was only 26 points off. The Libre was uh, 32 points off. So that was the first day. Pretty similar, not much of a difference here, but the Dexcom did have a little bit of an edge there. Now, when we go to day two, finger stick showed 100, and then the Dexcom was at 105, very close. And then the Libre, even better, it showed 102, so it was only two points off of the actual finger stick. So day two, we're past that first 24 hour period, accuracy is starting to improve, and we can see right here, both sensors are very accurate. So very, very close. The Libre did take a little bit of an edge there though, with only being off by two points rather than the five, seen with the Dexcom. Now moving on, I did a second finger stick some of the days just if there was some fluctuations in my blood sugars, I wanted to see how these were going to react. So some of these you'll see two finger sticks readings. So uh, the second day, a little bit later on in the day, finger stick was showing a 74. I felt like I was starting to trend a little bit lower. Maybe I was going to have a hypoglycemia soon. Uh, so finger stick 74. Dexcom was reading a little higher at 87. Libre very, very close. It was at a 75. So it's only off by a point. Dexcom was off by 13. Still not bad for either, but the Libre definitely um, was much more accurate in this situation. Now the following day, I woke up 96 blood sugar, uh, Dexcom was reading about 9 points off, Libre was reading only a point. So up until now, the Libre has been very, very close and um, it's been you know only a few points off. The Dexcom is still not bad though, only 9 points off in the morning. So overall, these are very good accuracy readings. Uh, so day 3... Libre took a little bit of a, a a little bit of a lead there, only being off by one point. Dexcom was off by nine. Um, second finger stick I did later on in the day. Now I started to have a low blood sugar. I wanted to do another finger stick because I know sometimes with these sensors, when you start running low, you're dropping quickly. They can be off by a, a good deal. So I did see here my blood my finger stick was actually at 50, so I was pretty low. The Dexcom was still reading a normal blood sugar at 77. It was 27 points off, which was a little disappointing. The Libre, the Libre was almost right on target. I was a finger stick at 50. This was showing a 54. That was really good accuracy. So I was really happy to see how accurate the Libre was. A little disappointed with the Dexcom that it wasn't catching up to where I was. Now later on, the Dexcom did eventually catch up. We know it lags a little bit behind, but the Libre was really pulling ahead here, um, only being off by four points. Now the following day, Day four in the morning, woke up, blood sugar was 86, Dexcom was showing a 101, Libre was showing a 67. So the Libre, as you'll see, as that I found as the days went on, the Libre was very susceptible to uh, compression lows. And if you're not familiar with that, basically when you're sleeping, if you're putting pressure on the side um, of the sensor, sometimes it can read a little bit lower than it actually was. And the, the Libre seemed to be very susceptible to that. And you'll see as we go on in the days, um, that seems to be more of a trend. So I was waking up at an 86, Dexcom was showing a little higher at 101 off by 15 points. The Libre was showing a 67. So really it was showing that it was hypoglycemic but I was actually at an 86 blood sugar and I was feeling pretty good. So this case, the Dexcom was a little bit more accurate, only off by 15. The Libre was off by 19. Day five, 
both of the sensors were off by a bit here. Um, I was I had a 151 finger stick running a little bit higher. The Dexcom was showing me at a 123. The Libre was showing me at a 117. So Dexcom a little bit more accurate, but neither one was really doing great at this point. We were almost off by 30 points on both. Um, a little later on in the day, I did start going low. And at this point, I actually felt hypoglycemic. I definitely was low. Finger stick was showing a 64. Dexcom, you can see the diagonal down arrow, so it was catching up, but again, same thing that I showed you before, it took a little longer to catch up while the Libre was already there. So I was at a 64, Libre was showing 53, only off by about 11, Dexcom was lagging behind by a bit, and it was showing me 21 points higher, um, but it did eventually catch up, so same kind of thing we saw earlier on, so Libre was doing a little bit better in this case. Day six, now, this is where the Libre unfortunately started to... Um, just become a bit more inaccurate. So I started to see a lot lower blood sugars with the Libre. So I'm not sure what happened. The, the sensor was on perfectly fine. There was no issues. It was on the same side of the body. Nothing really that I could say was wrong with it. Um, but unfortunately, the accuracy started to uh, kind of trail behind. And then the Dexcom really started to get much more accurate. So woke up at a 153. Dexcom was showing a 135, off about by 18 points. Libre, unfortunately, was showing much lower, 50 points lower at a 103. So that was day six. Next day, even worse, unfortunately. And this was, again, first thing in the morning. And like I said, the Libre, I found, is very susceptible to those compression lows. And that's what we're seeing here. So I woke up at a 137 finger stick. Dexcom was pretty accurate, 110, only 27 points. And the Libre was showing me a 62. So I do have some days like that on the Libre where I have these compression lows and I learn from that when I wake up. After about an hour, I'm, I'm up. I'm no longer putting pressure on the side of the sensor. That number will come back to normal. But waking up, it was off by 75 points on day 7. So that was a bit disappointing. Um, now, next day, 138 blood sugar in the morning. Dexcom was only off by 21 points. Libre was still off by a, a good amount, 49 points. It was giving me an 89, so much lower than the finger stick. A little later on in the day, um, I was starting to drop a little bit. I was starting to feel maybe that I was a little bit low. So the Dexcom was still reading a bit higher, 105, 18 points off. The Libre, though, was giving me a 63. Um, day 9, blood sugar was 80 in the morning. I woke up. The Dexcom was starting to get very accurate at this point. Those last couple days on the Dexcom were super accurate. So 80 finger stick, Dexcom giving me an 85, only off by 5 points, which for a CGM is amazing. Libre was showing, again, much lower in those mornings, those compression lows. I was off by 27 points. So that, again, it's a bit disappointing. The second one, I did another finger stick reading, 112. This was the first time uh, one of the CGMs was exact. So I put a little, <laughs> little smiley there because it's awesome when the CGM is exactly to a finger stick. So 112 finger stick. Dexcom was giving me dead on 112. And the Libre, unfortunately, was running much lower. And this was starting to be an issue towards the end there. Uh, 50 points off with the Libre. And then day 10, 122, Dexcom was only off by one point at a 123. And the Libre was reading much lower, 38 points lower. And then I did one additional one on that day, uh, 99 blood sugar a little bit later on in the day. I was only off by three points on the Dexcom. Dexcom giving me a 96. And the Libre was reading still a bit lower, 25 points off. Um, so looking at the overall results of both of them, I kind of highlighted which day was more accurate. So I went over all the, the blood sugar um, readings that I did from each individual day side by side. Here you can see the Dexcom reading, the Libre. You can see the difference in accuracy. And I put a little yellow square around the day that was more accurate. That was off by less amount. Um, and as you can see here, over the 10 days that I did, compared the finger sticks to Dexcom and the Libre. The Dexcom overall, if you count up all the days, was off by 237 points. The Libre, unfortunately, towards the end, really took a bit of a tumble. Um, it was off by 442. So you can see in the beginning, the Libre was pretty accurate, and most days more accurate than the Dexcom, but then later on, the Dexcom really started to get very, very accurate. And in the end, the Dexcom showed to be more accurate than the Libre. So again, this was a head-to-head -head of the Dexcom versus the Freestyle Libre. Just giving you an idea, comparing it to a finger stick, um, I tried to make it uh, very similar, same spot on the arm, just a few millimeters off, um, and try to give you an idea of what the blood sugar readings are like. You know, I can't say if there was any issues with either one, but I did find the Dexcom to be more accurate in this study. So um, take it for what you will, but in this case, the Dexcom did show to be uh, quite a bit more accurate at the end of the 10 days. So um, thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know what your experience has been, if you've used both, if maybe if you've seen something different, maybe you've had more accuracy with the Libre. 
Um, please let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a like.